Greetings, family. The Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. I have a prophetic word for someone. Your prodigal is not your enemy. Your prodigal is not your enemy. God says, forgive them. God says, forgive them. This word is coming to someone. You've been hurt so badly from the last relationship you had. You were badly hurt. And you sort of vowed every time you think of your prodigal, every time you think of the person you love and what they did to you, there is an anger and a bitterness that still rise. There is a pain that you still feel deep within. And God says, they are not your enemy. God says you should forgive them. One, for your sake. Because you cannot get over this. You cannot walk past this unless you forgive them. You cannot even have the possibility of meeting another person if you still have not forgiven them. You cannot have the possibility of moving on, of moving on completely unless you forgive them. So you are forgiving them not for their sake but for your own sake. You are forgiving them so that you can free yourself, so that you can liberate yourself. And secondly, someone you need to forgive them for the sake of the children. You need to forgive them for the sake of the children. You need to forgive them for the sake of the children. For the sake of the children you've had, for the sake of the times that you've shared together, just forgive them because the children are caught in the middle. And they don't know whether to be happy when they see them or whether to run away when they see them. They don't know if you will be happy they saw them or if you will be sad. The children are caught in the middle. God says for their sake, forgive them. And tell you because that's the right thing to do. For the sake of your salvation, for the sake of your work with God, because that's the right thing to do, forgive them. Yes, I know they hurt you. Yes, I know they betrayed you. I know. But please, I pray that God gives you the grace to forgive them. Hallelujah. God bless you. Shalom.